Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in. Today, my buddy Dan Pickle is going to be showing you how to replace the rear defroster cable on his C5 Corvette. So sit back, relax, and hopefully uh, you'll know exactly how to do it when it comes time that you have to do it to yours. Thanks for watching. Hello everybody. Uh, thank you for watching the Corvette channel. Uh, my name is Dan, and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be replacing the rear defroster wire on a C5 Corvette. Okay, so here you can see the defroster wire. Um, I'm not sure exactly what happened, but somehow or another it got completely unsprung. And with the trunk lid closed, uh, it was dangling down really bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace it. And to get that trim off, you have four body pins There are two on the side, one there and one there. And there are two on the other side over there. What you want to do to remove these body pins is use a body panel removal tool or some other non-marring uh, tool to pop the pins out. In a pinch, you can use something um, like a screwdriver but if you do do that, I highly recommend wrapping electrical tape. So if you were to slip, you're not going to risk doing damage to the body panel. As you can see, they do come out fairly easily. Uh, you got to work with them just a little bit, but they come out really easily. Once you have those four pins out, there are four clips up in the front. There's one there, one there, there, and all the way over at the other end. All you do is just grab onto that uh, body piece, pull down, and that whole trim will pop out now. Here's the uh, plug-in where it plugs into the car, and you can see there's that little tab that you need to squeeze, and it pulls right out. On the trunk deck itself, on the glass, all you do is just wiggle that connector off and as you can see, it comes off very easily. Here's the new uh, wire that we're gonna be putting in. And all it is, it's real simple. You can plug it right back in, the same way that the old one came off. Then you're going to uh, plug this piece back in. And don't forget about that little tab there that faces towards the passenger side. Plug that in. Then we're ready to put the body trim panel back on. And all you're going to do is just push it in till all four of those clips in the front engage. Then we're going to be uh, replacing all the uh, body pins. Now, one little trick that I found that works well. Um, you take the body pin, put it through the trim itself. Then, once it's in, you can guide it into the body, into the hole in the body. Um, I found that works really well. Um... Of course, I didn't realize it until 
I'd already done a couple of them. This really is a simple process, as you can see. Uh, we're complete now. Uh, it took all of, you know, 10 minutes to do so, if that. And we're done. Thank you for watching. Uh, hope you found the video informative. And please stay tuned for more projects to come on this car as well as other cars that we have featured on the Corvette channel. Thank you for watching the Corvette channel. Don't forget to subscribe.